All right, so in this example here, what we're going to do is we're going to import a single amortization schedule from an Excel file. This rec we're looking at here is a long-term loan. So uh, the full example here is imagine that we, uh, we just took a new loan um, out from, from a bank or whoever it may be. We have a debt schedule um, for that loan, and it's going to amortize over five years. And so we want to load that schedule into the system and automatically generate the, um, the amortization schedule on the reconciliation. Uh, so just so you can see what that looks like, this is the, uh, the full debt schedule here. So it's going to amortize over 60 months. Obviously, you can see things like the monthly payment, the interest principal, and what the uh, each month's ending balance on that loan should be. Now to import this into the reconciliation, we just need to tweak it a little bit. This is the actual, um, I'll call it the tweaked import file here that we're actually gonna import um, into the black line reconciliation. You know, pretty much the same data here. You got a, a, a field here, field A, which is the month end date. Uh, field B over here is the description for each month. Essentially, I just took the, the month name and the word amortization after it and concatenated it. And uh, column C over here, this is, the, um, this is the monthly amortization. Now, your import file does not need to look exactly like mine. It's okay to have the amount in column A and the, the, the date field in column B. You know, no problems with that. Uh, I would say what's, what's probably more important is to have a proper field header name up here. Okay, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about it in a second, but these field header names here are the same field names within Blackline that we're gonna upload our schedule to. And it makes things a little bit easier if, the, uh, if those field header names on your Excel file is spelled exactly the same as the field names within, within the system. Okay. So let's jump back to the reconciliation, all right? And let's go through the process of importing on this Excel file. Now, because we're importing one single schedule, we wanna click on the import link right here. So I'll go ahead and click on it. Okay. You can uh, leave this information as is up here or, or change it if you need. Most of the time, you, you can leave it as is. In the description, um, this is where I'll put, I'll, I'll, let's say we, we got the loan from Bank of America. So that's what I would give the description. I would say, you know, call it something like that. And then um, down here, this is where you would browse out to the Excel file uh, that I just showed you so the system knows where to grab it and import. And this is the Excel file. Scroll down a little bit. Um, all right, notice here you have a, a field here called worksheets. So the system needs to know um, which tab, okay, the data to import is on. So when I click the drop down box, I can see here the two tab names. And really where the data to import is, is in the tab I called import file in my Excel file. So I'll change that. Now notice at the bottom here, you're seeing all those records, those same records that were in the Excel file. Okay. And notice, um, just wanna point out something here that I, that I mentioned a few, few seconds ago. Um, the fields you're seeing here on the left are the black line fields that we're importing the data into. So the date field here, that's where the fiscal period should go. The description, that's essentially at the line item. Um, description on my schedule and transaction amount that's where your monthly amortization amount should go the fields on the right are from my excel file and so you can see here i got date description and transactional amount and you can see that the system knew that the date column within my excel file should automatically go to or map to the date field within blackline 
but the only reason it knew it was because that the spelling of these two fields um, were the same. So were I to call this something else like, you know, in the Excel file, if I were to have that my field header name like fiscal month or uh, last day of the month or, or something to that effect, the system wouldn't know um, which field to use to populate the date within Blackline. So it might have looked something like this when I first hit the import button, when I first imported the Excel file. Um, so if it, if, if, you, if it did do something like this, if your field names within the Excel file were not spelled exactly the same as they are within Blackline, just come over here to your drop down box, pick the right Excel file field to map to the, uh, to the black line field, and you're good to go. Okay? All right, next thing is, is that um, you need to, to tell the system which records to import from your Excel file. Majority of cases, you're gonna import them all. That's what our example here is set up as. So I'm gonna click this select all button right here. It's adding a check mark to all the Excel records here so the system knows to import them. Last step is to click the import button. Now that entire Excel amortization schedule is now set up as an amortization schedule on your black line reconciliation. So you're seeing a summary uh, view of what that, um, of that rec, rec looks like as of June. You can see here in my reconciliations for, for June, 2023. But if I wanted to see the full schedule, you could always click on this schedule icon right here. All right now, this is telling me for each month, this is a 60 month loan. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down here. It goes all the way out to 2028. For each month, this is what the monthly amortization is going to be. So, um, you know, keep in mind now that your, your schedule is loaded um, when, the, when the loan was initiated, you never need to do anything or touch the schedule at all in any of the future months on your reconciliations. The system is going to automatically roll forward your schedule for you each month. So you can see here for June's rec, my ending balance is $45,000. If I flip over to July's rec, You'll see it's going to decrease by the monthly amortization amount, which is now set to closer to $44,000.